Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I have something kind of neat to show you, and so I wanted to show it to you and give you a little bit of a tutorial of how to build it using MC Edit. It is this thing, it's a trampoline. So if I just hop down onto it, I will bounce way up into the air. <laughs> Helps a lot that I'm in creative mode, of course, although uh, with I could use like a custom potion with resistance 5 in order to, well that was a big bounce, in order to, uh, you know, mitigate the damage a little bit. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, a little bouncy trampoline. I actually got the idea uh, from FB Disco. He was asking me uh, how to make a spring for an upcoming, the upcoming uh, Sonic map of his. And I thought this, was, this would be a good way to do it. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let me show you how to do it for yourself. All right, to start off with, you need to get that TNT entity going. So I'm going to create a little box with the TNT in there, and let's go ahead and hit a button. So this box keeps the TNT trapped and keeps it from sort of jumping off to the side. Then in MC Edit, we can see here is the red box which represents the TNT and the button and stuff around it. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the stuff that isn't the TNT. If I just press delete there, the TNT is still left over. So now I'm going to um, select this TNT and I'm going to clone it, nudge it off to the side and s scale this repeat factor up to 15. So it'll be a total of 16 blocks and this will copy the entity as well. So that does that and then selects it so that we can even just do the same thing again. Clone, whoops, uh, I, sorry I meant to, I hit the clone button and then I nudge it over to the side do the same thing where I uh, put the repeat factor up to 15 and we clone it again. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of TNT that is um, it's all primed. It's good to go. It's we we need to make some more changes though. Uh, first, I'm going to make this box a little bit bigger because I don't I don't know uh, if the entities are actually going to be detected by my filters. So I'll go over to my filters. First thing I need to do is I need to uh, set the fuse of the spawners. Uh, sorry, of the TNT. So I'm going to use this change entities filter. Um, the TNT fuse is in there. I am going to set the TNT fuse to zero and hit filter. Okay, so that's all we need to do for the TNT. Now I'm going to select a different filter. This, I'm going to use the create spawners filter. And where is that? Create spawners. I have such a large list. Okay, here we are. Check include position data. This will make sure that the spawners that it creates out of these TNT will spawn in these exact positions and it's going to it's going to create the spawners basically where the TNT is right now. So there we go. There's the spawners. And um <clears throat> Okay, so I need to go back to the grid tool because I don't want to uh I don't want to have the selection area be too large now. I'm going to I'm going to move these spawners into the ground by just selecting only the spawners. I'm going to use the green nudge button and press Z to nudge it down. And so now these are in the ground, and I could even put them a little bit lower if I wanted, uh, if I wanted to hide them, but I don't need to do that. And now I'm just going to put a layer of water right above that, and let me use still water. Fill. Okay, so then the last thing I need to do, uh, I've, I've moved the selection down, now I'm selecting those, those spawners again. Uh, I need to get those spawners to... Um, to detect at the right place and whatever. So the minimum spawn delay is going to be 1, the maximum spawn delay is going to be 2. What that actually means is the minimum spawn delay and maximum spawn delay are actually both 1. So every single tick, uh, it's going to try and spawn blocks. Current spawn delay, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to set it to 1. Um, spawn count, 1, of course. Entity count, 6. Now, this actually does matter because it will check nearby spawners to see or it'll basically if there's other TNT nearby it will check for that um, so that actually will affect the power of the explosion. I'm going to leave it at 6 though. Detection range 1 because I only want it to detect players that are right above the spawner and spawn radius. This doesn't really matter but I'm just going to decrease it down to 1. Hit filter and save and that'll actually do it. So now uh, that's all you need to do in order to make the trampoline. 
Uh, all the filters that I used are available in the video description and a link to MC Edit as well. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.